Hey guys, it's HMK once again with my analysis of the full Nintendo Switch trailer. My god, I cannot wait for this system. It looks great. I love I love the concept. I, I love that the concept is totally optional, and that's something that Nintendo sorely needs in my opinion. But I got an opinionated piece about this, about my thoughts and details. I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description box below. So let's or just let's just go to town, shall we? Alright, so we've got a like you know a rule setting. I'm I don't wanna say what era this is because I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. You know, I'm New York, maybe I don't know. It looks nice, it does. And then we see uh, our first victim right here. He is playing Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. Which I gotta say, already it looks better than the Wii U version. It seems to have more dynamic lighting and shadowing uh, as opposed to what we've seen from the E3 um, demo and gameplay. But I mean, that could have been upped on the Wii U as well. But I definitely believe that uh, the final product of Breath of the Wild on Nintendo stream is gonna look better than it is on the Wii U. Alright, so let's just, you know, chill and play in the game. And then, uh, here we have the first glimpse at the controller, which is being known as the Nintendo Stream Joy-Con controller, which is, it's basically a base for the two, uh, slip-out controllers to go on, uh, to click, uh, connect onto, right? But, of course, you can play this, uh, without this type of grip. It's, that's what it is, a grip. And, uh, we'll find out more about that later in this trailer. You're gonna find out right now. And then, here it is, Breath of the Wild footage. It looks grand. It looks crisp. And as I said, the colors look a bit, uh, uh, you know, a bit, or I would say a lot more defined. Uh, the shadows are way, definitely a lot more defined than anything I've seen on the Wii U version. And it looks great, running very smooth. Doesn't seem to have any hiccups, um, on the gameplay whatsoever. Uh, because that's something that the Wii U did struggle with a little bit. I really hope they optimize it. Uh, but regardless, I'm still gonna get this game on both the, um, Nintendo stream and the Wii U and I'm pretty sure for the most part I'm gonna be referring to this as the stream because it's hard to transition from stream to NX all right so the vocal bins die one hit dead and then we get a close-up of this dude you know he's really into it and his dog is like yo man Huma now you're gonna go take me for a walk you know what I can thanks to Nintendo switch and here we are with the logo a bright red Nintendo switch clicking into place click so then he gets up goes for the Nintendo Switch, and it's been confirmed by Nintendo and a lot of other press sites that the console is indeed the, uh, the screen, and the screen just goes into the dock. So the dock itself is not the console, the console is the screen. A lot of people believe that um, the game will stream to the screen through the dock, and you know, the dock has some power to it. It could, we don't know every single spec about the Nintendo Switch, but for the most part, the dock is just simply the dock, and um, the system is actually the screen. So then this guy slips off, the two controller parts off the Joy-Con uh, grip, which I just say it does look good and it looks pretty easy to slip on, slip off. Uh, you know, I don't know if there's gonna be some sort of clicking or locking mechanism. Uh, so it has to hold into place for some some way somehow. And you know, actually, we do get a shot of um, right here the wires going uh, from the back of the Nintendo. Um, Stream because I'm pretty sure this is the Nintendo stream here. You can see where this is probably where the cartridge go Which this game does take cartridges and whatnot and we see right here two uh, Two cor uh, cords. I'm pretty sure one is HDMI and the other is gonna be your power source So this is where it is and then he just slips them off and I puts them on top of not on top But on the sides of the screen and lifts the screen up and according to Nintendo as soon as you lift the screen I mean there is a type of delay, but the uh, the screen from the TV will go straight into the uh, handheld form, the portable side of the Nintendo Switch. That is the Switch in Nintendo Switch. So a lot of people, you know, we, we can go ahead and, uh, you know, confirm that this handheld is not going to act like uh, a Wii U gamepad where you're going to have to use the gamepad alongside the game running on screen. You know, it's one of the other. Because, you know, the way Nintendo makes it seem is that as soon as you think, take this thing off, the game will go onto the screen. And you can see that little transition of the game. It's bright and then it goes to a lower shade of bright brightness. It, the contrast goes down and it goes onto the screen. And then the screen itself goes transitions from that lower contrast up into that full res, beautiful, crisp color palette, whatnot. And this game, uh, they confirmed that the gamepad, not the gamepad, pfft, the portable side is going to run games uh, 720p, Glory 720p, which is good for a handheld. Hell yeah, it's very good for a handheld. Man, this thing, honestly, it looks great in his hand. Breath of the Wild looks amazing in his hand. 
all right and he just goes off in his adventure with his doggo and he's like okay you want to go for a walk go for a walk i'll be playing here breath of the wild and right there he's going against a new type of enemy that we haven't seen before which is probably a giant bokoblin or a moblin a regular sized moblin or a giant sized bokoblin it's one or the other uh it can be both whatever fires a bomb arrow wakes the dude up and then you see the dude the dog you know jogging around a distance like yay we get what we both want hell yeah we get what we both want and then the bokoblin wakes up or the moblin whatever this thing is it wakes up ready for a boss battle and now the next segment nintendo switch and i really like the sound of the switch and like ching. all right an airport scene interesting what are we gonna do this guy's walking around in the airport gate 32 and here we have it guys cartridges and uh for the uh for the most part this cartridge just simply says nintendo um it doesn't really specify what game it is but you know he's clicking it in checking it out plugs it in there you go and we can see here that it does have a flap that you can close after locking in the game very similar to that of uh, 3ds games and this actually looks like a, a very similar to a 3ds game cartridge uh just black it looks more um like a mix between a game cartridge and an sd card from the 3ds or whatnot but yeah he's like you know slips it in slips it out slip it in slip it out in and out in and out, in and out ah! but yeah it goes in uh no word yet if this game is this system is gonna be compatible with 3ds games you know if that happens woo, we mama man just gg it up so he sits down sees this girl playing her three uh pff, i was gonna say 3ds uh this girl playing her own nintendo switch and then he's playing Nintendo switch as well oh what could they be playing i don't know i can't really tell but it's probably skyrim you know why because you know we're going to the next thing so this dude sits down and this thing has a little kickstand kickstand lays it on the board has this micro not micro jack but aux cord cable jack headphone jack haha <laughs> come on apple in and out in and out let me stop okay so it goes in and then he takes off the control parts and this seems to be skyrim you know this is skyrim you have the little flame uh the magic ability in one hand and your axe in the other and you know skyrim looks great and then he's ready to play and what's great is that these this controller oh ooh, this guy's gonna get bodied you can play with this controller as, as separate controls, you know, a kind of like a Wii thing going on, uh, like the nunchuck and the Wii remote. You, you have free to move your arms around. Ooh, save project. Sorry about that. You're free to move your arms around as you're playing the game, which is awesome. And in this game, uh, it shows that this uh, these things have two shoulder buttons that this guy's, you know, tapping his shoulder buttons for whatever gameplay or whatnot. And uh, man, this dude's sleeping right next to him. It's like, yo, do you not see this man playing a Nintendo stream? I'll do that, man. I'll, I'll be watching that dude. It's like, oh, what game is that? So then he goes back uh, into a car at his destination, and now he slips the controller parts back and continues to play Skyrim, and then goes home and puts it back onto the dock, and here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Nintendo Stream Pro Controller, which looks great. I think it's definitely an upgrade uh, aside from the Wii U Pro Controller. And the biggest takeaway from this is, of course, you're getting the AX, uh, YB buttons, but the controller stick, um, the placements are different finally we have one control stick the left control stick uh higher and then the right control stick lower which is something that i really like you know feels like the old good old gamecube days all right so he picks this up and thank god it's a matte finish because i'm tired of having my fingerprints on my wii u pro controller all nasty with the gloss finish or and now he continues the adventure of skyrim at home you know this is gonna be great especially when breath of the wild comes out around pax east i'm just gonna get my system take it with me go on the plane play it and then you know played at the hotel you know it's great nintendo switch and then you see that a lot of people are just you know getting ready to play yoshi 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 circuit on an unknown and i am saying this is an unknown uh mario kart game and what kind i just want to point this out what kind of peripheral or what kind of like you know addition Jesus Christ, are you guys Nintendo really gonna be selling this thing where you can like, you know, connect it to your car and hold it up and play on the go like that? You know, <laughs> these attachments. Right here, we see two guys playing Mario Kart, but the biggest thing is that they can each use one side of, uh, one side of the controller as their controller, which is amazing. I, I lost my mind at this part. You know, a lot of people are like, yo, here's your play to ass controller. Boy, yo, I'm down to play with this little thing because all you need is that control stick and the buttons. And you Gucci, man. You Gucci. So then they go up to um, 
this like kart racing thing and then you see this guy you know playing around with this and now the biggest takeaway from this we see here is that the clouds look different the trees look different and king boo is not a character in mario kart 8 and also the fact that we have two items in our onslaught yo double dash please but of course we only see one person on a cart uh, for each cart so this looks like it might be you know mario kart 8 plus or maybe even mario kart 9 you know they're just going in and uh we don't really have any confirmation that um this is mario kart 8 where we have any you know anti-gravity stuff because well from what we've seen with the yoshi circuit it seems that to be like you know regular yoshi uh, yoshi circuit or whatnot and these guys you know go kart in their lives away hey was that a nintendo sign yeah it was right there you sneaky suckers all right, continuing on. Nintendo Switch! These guys playing basketball. Yeah, all right, homie. Let's do this, right? Puts up two Nintendo Switches together. And guess what? Plays NBA 2K blankety blank year. I, I don't know. I don't play sports games. I really don't. So they're playing NBA and, uh, you know, going head to head, which is great. Four players because, of course, uh, the NX Switch 1 only uses two controller uh, attachments. So if you want four people, you're going to have to put two together. But a lot of people were complaining. It's like, oh, this is what you need to play multiplayer. No, nah, you can play multiplayer at home. Nintendo's confirmed it. You know, this thing is a home console first before anything else. So these guys are having the time of their life after playing a real game of basketball. Let's play a virtual game of basketball. Oh, yeah. Slam dunk, bro. And then these guys are happy and, you know giving their best buddy handshake what nintendo switch now this is an interesting part now this lady is playing nintendo switch on the nintendo uh switch um joy con grip and she's playing a what seems to be a brand new mario 3d game i got so excited for this this looks great and what we can take away here is that you see the moon in the distance and you see some sort of light pillar in the distance but another thing is you see some sort of arrows going down towards the i would say umbrella over here it seems that that might be a marker for a mission finally this might be the return to old when it comes to um super mario games that are not restricted in the sense of Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and Super Mario 3D Land and World. You know I, what kind of vibes I get from this? I get a huge amount of Super Mario Sunshine vibes if Super Mario Sunshine didn't have Flood. You know, because we see characters in distance, like we see these, like, I would these things, what are these things? They're, are these pinatas or cactuses? Whatever, whatever they are, they're Mexican. <laughs> like, even look at this town. This town is, like, heavily Mexican influence. Hey, viva la raza, yes. So, we keep going forth, and this seems to be a completely different area, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's continuing the Mexican motif of the world, where we see uh, Aztec ruins, because Aztec, um, Azteca are the, you know, uh, ancestors of Mexico. There are Aztec tribes within Mexico, Aztec tribes, Mayan tribes, or whatever. But uh, this looks great. It looks like a desert area, and, you know, Mexico, for the most part, has a lot of desert-like regions and stuff. And we see here like invisible crystal, not invisible, but like translucent crystals here. Uh, these are probably some that you probably will be able to break something similar to that of Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 by using the spin attack to break these things. So maybe uh, Mario will have some sort of attack, you know, attack, attack, whatever. So you see Mario do a long jump. And Mario's model, I gotta say, looks kind of weird because it's not something we've seen before. I'm pretty sure this model is not some ripped from a prior Mario game like Super Mario 3D World or 3, uh, Galaxy or whatnot. And he does a long jump, and as soon as he does a long jump, he's does, he does his hand motion where he's, you know, sprinting. So sprinting is probably going to come back in uh, this Mario game. Because, you know, usually when Mario or anyone sprint, they do that little hand motion. It's like, ah, sprinting! But then he stops the sprinting motion just, you know, runs the regular way. Here we can see we have coins, a heart, rings. Uh, that heart, I don't know if that heart is going to be, you know... Health because usually Mario recovers his health uh, using coins, but that might be the recovery heart spinning thing from Super Mario 64. So hell yeah, I'm down for that. And then we see a Bullet Bill blaster here, and the Bullet Bill's like, "All right, I'm gonna get you, Mario," but too bad. So that's all we can take away really from this world, desert region, this beautiful sun. I gotta say, this game looks great, whatever it is. And a lot of people are calling this Super Mario Switch, right? And it seems that there's like a fountain in the background or whatnot. Yeah. So we're gonna continue for wait, what was that? Okay, there seems to be something like a like probably a sand type enemy that digs in the ground that pops up or whatever, because you can see there's like obvious movement. Yeah, this thing was definitely not there before, and then it starts, you know, coming up. Maybe it's a sand pillar, maybe the sand pillar is what leads to the heart, and uh you can grab it there. So this lake gets up and then sees her friends 
on the rooftop of another building, I guess. Hey, come over here. So, oh, and oh, another big thing. There you go, Amiibos. Amiibos are probably coming back to Nintendo Switch. Hell yeah. So then she clicks in her Nintendo Switch, takes the Mario game, the Mario game she's been playing, you know, all good and whatever. She picks it up, takes the Mario. Oh, she looks at it. Yeah. Hey, Mario. She takes the Mario game over to her friends and they're like, hey, how you doing? And sets them up. What are we doing? Why are you getting a bunch of people playing this Mario game? Or maybe she's just giving that one girl, the blonde chick, a try. You know, she's like, hey, you want to play this game? Oh, man, it's great. Oh, wait, no. She's actually playing with her. Damn, what are these guys drinking out of red cups, man? You know they're drinking that good juice. Hell yeah. 100% organic apple juice. That's what I said, you know. And another thing I like to point out, we have not seen any kids mess around with the system whatsoever. Nintendo, are you saying that we are the ones that want the system? I think I think they are. So it could be they're playing Mario Party or playing this Mario game. Uh, you know, because the Mario games of the past, Mario Galaxy 1, 2, 3D World, had had some sort of multiplayer feature to it. So maybe they're playing together when it comes to this uh, new Mario game. Nintendo Switch. All right, now this is a part that got me really excited. So we see like these two eSport teams, you know, making, you know, plans or whatnot. Hey, so we're gonna go and cut this guy off. We're gonna make this play over here. Oh, but what about that? I don't know. And then we see another eSports team. This eSports team is arguably from, um, I would say, you know, red colors. I would say America. I don't know any type of country. We could really, really, any country. I would say UK or America or whatnot. And then here we see, uh, an Asian sports team, obviously, you know, you can tell right away, and they're playing Splatoon on the Switch, and Splatoon looks like it runs a lot better on the Switch, it looks hella colorful, and they're playing Pro Controllers off the um, Switch when they don't have it on the dock, so that shows that you can play with any type of controller on the go, so I mean, anything you can do on the go, you can do at home, and vice versa, so they're getting ready to make this play, let's do it, yeah, and then these guys, Go up on stage and a big ass arena getting ready. And look, Nintendo everywhere. They're sitting down in gamer chairs. They are ready to go. Plug and play 4v4 esports Splatoon messes. Oh my goodness. This, is, I, this, this whole segment got me hyped. Um, it could have been Smash, but I mean, like, it got that team base going, you know. And then we see here that uh, in the Splatoon transformation, no more weird eyes or whatnot. And these guys come out with different type of hairstyles. Dude, these hairstyles look balling. Finally, we have pants. And look at these hairstyles. New stuff, new things. And then these guys pick it up. And even more hairstyles on this end. Yo, this guy has the comb over right here. This girl has some sort of like long uh, thing going here. And then, you know, short, uh, like a bob cut right here. And this guy has like, you know, the razor cuts here, you know, give me that tape full. Let's do this. They look great. Oh my god. Everyone's cheering. And I don't know. I don't know if Nintendo really filled up this entire arena of people just to get hyped for the stream. Uh Nintendo uh stream. Nintendo whatever. Uh Nintendo uh Switch console. Because it could be computer anime, but like everything I see here looks it kind of looks like real people. Jesus, they got a that a shitload of people to fill up that stadium. That's crazy. And uh, this is actually a reference to a uh, esports um, Splatoon tournament that's going on right now in the UK, I believe. And the winning team will all get uh, Nintendo. Um, uh, Nintendo. Jeez, I keep want to say the NX, but the Nintendo um, Switch consoles. Man, they're gonna. They're gonna. Oh, they're gonna get it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Nintendo Switch. Do the Switch. Coming March 2017, and yes, I was excited that it was March 2017 because a lot of people were uh, they, they were scared that this thing was going to release on time. But March 2017, hell yeah, let's go. All right, Nintendo. And here we have a bit, uh, a bit of, you know, I'll say disclaimers. 2016 Nintendo, 2016 Bethesda, but so that is, you know, definitely Skyrim. Nintendo 2016, Nami Nintendo NBA properties. Game footage, not final graphics and features subject to change. So, uh... At the most part, I feel that that might be applied to games in development right now, which includes the new Super Mario game, uh, the new Splatoon game, and of course, uh, Breath of the Wild. Because uh, the NBA and um, Skyrim games, I'm pretty sure there are games that pretty much exist, but they're going to end up going on to the, the um, Nintendo Switch. And here we have it in Spanish or whatnot. So yeah, I am ready for the Nintendo 
Uh, the Nintendo Switch. Will you guys make the Switch? I am so ready. But I want to know what you guys think. And if I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section below. I am ready for the Nintendo stream. Le Nintendo stream. Why do I keep getting these weird ass names? Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Let's go. Nintendo Switch. Make the Switch. Alright guys, until the next video. I've been HMK and I'll check you guys later.